Hello again. Welcome back to our uh, topic on statistics. We're just following through here with uh, the next topic uh, related to what we had done before, um, the mean, but this time we're going to do something called the trimmed mean. And the trimmed mean is a very simple concept. So I'm only going to need to give you one example, I'm guessing. Um, so the trimmed mean is basically where you take a set of numbers, you look to see if there are any numbers that are unusual or that don't belong to that set or shouldn't normally belong to that set. Um, we call those numbers that don't seem to fit in, we call those outliers. And if you take a look at this set of numbers that I've got up here, I've got, uh, I want to know the trimmed mean of this set of numbers. Well, if you look, you've got 17, 18, a couple of 19s, a couple of 21s, a 22, and then a 34. Well, is there a number in that set that doesn't seem to fit? Well, you guessed it, it's 34. So we're going to do something called calculating the trimmed mean. And in order to do that, we look for the outliers. And in this case, there's only one outlier. But the rule is, if the outlier is, if there's just one outlier, like the 34, uh, that's our highest number. We have to counteract that by taking off the lowest number, even though the lowest number may even seem to fit with all the rest. Okay, that's all there is to it. If there are two outliers on the bottom, and then all the top numbers seem to still fit, it doesn't matter. You take your outliers and make sure you take off, cut off the same number of scores top and bottom. Okay, that's all there is to it. So if we want to know the regular mean or the arithmetic mean on this set of numbers, we add them all up and uh, just uh, to make things go quickly, I'll, I've added them up for you and they total 171. So um, the arithmetic mean, or X bar as we would call it, I think I'll sit down for this, is all those numbers added up, remember our symbolism, divided by N. And in this case it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's 8 of those, and that totaled 171. So our arithmetic mean then is 171 divided by 8, which is 21.375. Okay, we won't discuss the rounding issues for now. You might want to call it 21.4. In fact, that's probably the best, but let's just keep this in here for now. So, I want to know the trimmed mean. The trimmed mean, so trimmed mean. Now remember, I was going to look at my set of numbers, find my outlier or outliers. In this case, there's one, that's 34. So I'm going to take off the 34 and I'm going to also disregard the 17. Now the way uh, that your textbook that you've been given works it out is this way. Uh, they took the 171 which was the original total and then they subtracted the outlier. So the 34 and remember, you, can, you have to trim both sides. So, taking off the 34, and you're also going to take off the 17. Now, if you want, you can take them off and then add the rest, but it's the same, same thing, right? 
Now if you've taken off those two scores, n is no longer 8, we're going to use 6. So we've got a new um, expression here, the trimmed mean. And if you crunch that all out, you will get uh, 1. Let's see, I better calculate this. I got 171 minus 34 minus 17 equals 120. I thought it was 120, but it didn't look right for a moment. And then divided by 6. And so that equals um, 20. So the arithmetic mean is 21.375, whereas the trimmed mean is a little bit less than that. And sometimes the trimmed mean is more dependable than the, than the arithmetic mean. Okay, so I'll just leave that. That's all there is to it. I don't think any other examples are really necessary. You can look in your textbook and, uh, and uh, see what the example is there. Um, but you don't need tons and tons and tons of numbers to work something like this out. Okay, so trimmed mean. There we have that topic short and sweet. And the last uh, example I'm going to give for this video is um, something called the weighted mean. And this will be a pretty straightforward one. They can be fairly, fairly complicated if you let them. So example one, it says um, Mrs. Johnson gives three marks for her Saturday French class. A quiz valued at 10%, a test weighted at 40%, and a final exam weighted at 50%. Now you know that a final exam is the most important thing in a class, right? And a quiz is usually um, low on the totem pole. There's purposes for quizzes and that's just to see if you're sharp. So we've got this uh, student, his name's Freddie. He scored 65% on the quiz. Then he did really well on the test, 95%. And then he got 80 on the exam. Now, I want to know what is the mean of these three numbers? Well, if he if you wanted to know what the mean of the three numbers are, you just add them up. 65 plus 95 plus 80, and then you would divide by 3, since there's three scores. Well, the mean, I'm not going to do the work, actually. I'll just uh, um, quickly, well, no, I take that back. I'm going to do the work. So, x bar would be equal to um, 95 plus 80 uh, sorry, plus the 65. Sorry, uh, this 65 should have gone first. You add these three things up, and you will end up getting with x bar is equal to 80%. But you only do that if everything's got an equal weight. So if they're not all equally weighted, you cannot just do that. You have to, you have to do something called the weighted mean. So there's the question. What is his weighted mean? Okay, so hopefully you can still stay on the page. I have to go over to the next page and... Um, It'll take me two pages of this stuff to do it. So there you, there's a reminder, okay? The quiz was worth 10% and his mark was 65%. The test was worth 40% and he did really well. He got 95%. And then the final exam was 50% 
he did fairly well there too. He got 80%. I know um, in pretty well most cases, um, people would say 80% is a relatively good score. Now we want to find out his weighted mean. Now if, remember on the last page I had his arithmetic mean was equal to 80%. But this time we uh, want to have his weighted mean, his true final mark. And so this that's what this is going to be about. Well, take a look at this. I'm going to go like this. Quiz, we know it's the quiz, plus the test, plus the final exam. And that's where he's getting his marks from, okay? Um, and that will equal the final grade. So, what is he going to contribute to his final grade from his quiz? Well, he got 65%. Now, what is 10% as a decimal? We know it is 0.1, correct? Now we're going to add a second term. What is 95%? Well, it's 95%. That's a silly question, isn't it? What is 40% as a decimal? That's what I meant to say. 40% as a decimal is 0.4 or 0 0.40, but whatever you like. I'm going to just put 0.4. And then finally, he got 80%. times 0.5, and I'm beginning to run out of room here. So this term is going to give us a percent, plus a percent, plus a percent. Guess what? We're going to get a percent as a value at the end. So um, take a look at this. 65 times 0.1, well, that's easy. That's 6.5. Ninety-five times point four. Uh, Ninety-five times point four is thirty-eight. Okay, this is a percent. This is a percent. And this one, I don't need to use a calculator on either because uh, eighty. Well, half of eighty is forty percent, right? So he contributed 6.5% to his final mark from the quiz. And each one of these little these terms here um, add to his final grade. And so we add these all up. And uh, let's see. Oh, there's the phone. Um, let's see. Hello. Hi. Okay. 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 Okay then. See. Okay. Bye. That was a 24 second phone call, so I can redo everything, but I'm not going to. 6.5% plus 38%, uh, that gives us 44.5, plus this 40% is 84.5%, equals 84.5%. That's his final grade. Okay, so sorry about the uh, phone call there, but I am at home, and that's the way it goes sometimes. So, 
Your teacher will have um, one or two questions for you to just work alone at, and um, I will catch you later. Take care.